Well, visitors are really drawn to Peggy's Cove. I think it's a combination of the simplicity and the, the dramatic coastline here. People are really drawn to the coast and drawn to lighthouses generally. And this one, because it's so well known, I think really captivates people and it, it just makes them want to come to the province and makes them want to come to the coast. And that's very Nova Scotia. There's something very special about Peggy's Cove and in many cases our visitors have almost a spiritual experience. They're quite touched and thrilled to be in the simple beauty of this place. The main thing of course for Peggy's Cove for us is safety. We want our guests to be comfortable here, to really enjoy the vistas, but not to put themselves in harm's way. So we would tell them on the bus, you know, keep an eye on the pathways, don't go near the darker rocks, the black rocks or the wet rocks. We do tell them that sometimes, you know, the waves can get as high as a couple stories and that kind of gets everybody's attention. So generally we find our visitors very respectful of that. So we do encourage them to stay on the paved pathways. If they want to venture off the pathways, then we would suggest going along the crest of the rock. So basically along the top of all the rock formations so that they have a good view of Peggy's Cove. There's no great benefit in Peggy's Cove of getting down to the water. You're not at the beach, you're not trying to go swimming. Uh, it's absolutely the best to stay along the crest of the rock. So you can really appreciate the full panoramic view of Peggy's.